Been wondering how to use Canva AI? You're in the right place. Canva has had AI tools within their editor for a while now, but recently rolled out Canva AI, the new chatbot style tool that basically serves as the chat GPT of Canva and of all things visual and design. It can pretty much generate anything you need from graphics to designs to videos, images, and documents in a matter of seconds. It can also do more advanced tasks like coding and video generation on the spot. It's honestly groundbreaking and is extremely helpful for Canva users. So today we're taking a deep dive into Canva AI and looking at each of its capabilities so that you can design things you might not have thought were even possible super quickly and super easily. Now, before we get started, if you are someone who's wanting to make money online selling digital products, things like templates, printables, digital resources, then I'd love to help you get started making sales a lot quicker than I did by giving you a shortcut. It's my free 45 minute long digital product powerhouse masterclass, and it goes through the four crucial steps you'll need to take to grow a profitable digital products business that makes daily sales. This is the training that I wish I'd had when I first started, and I know it's gonna be so super helpful for you to get started adding on that additional revenue stream to make passive income working from home. So if you'd like some guidance in that area, definitely click the link in the description box below to hop over and watch that after you're done watching this video. Okay, so just quick note to clarify here, the new Canva AI tool is not taking the place of the Canva AI capabilities that were already within the editor, things like Magic Erase or Magic Grab, Background Remover. Those are all still available to you within the editor as AI capabilities, but this is Canva's new tool called Canva AI that you can access straight from the homepage. So you'll come to the homepage and click over to where it says Canva AI. This will bring up a chat box similar to what you would experience on ChatGPT, where you can either enter text or use the voice option to chat with Canva AI. You can ask it pretty much anything. So I could say something like, give me 10 tips for brides who are planning a wedding. Then it'll open up this full page chat where it's going to use AI to give me what I asked for. So here it's generating the 10 tips for brides and I could use this information to create any type of digital product or design. I could use it to create social media content. I could create something like a checklist or a cheat sheet to offer to this target audience. Or I could continue chatting with Canva AI to ask it more questions or clarify whatever I'm needing help with. But if I come back to the main Canva AI prompt box, I can see these little buttons on the bottom that say design for me, create an image, draft a doc, code for me, and create a video clip. So this is what we're going to be going through today. At the time of this filming, these are the five main capabilities abilities of this Canva AI tool. There may be more coming in the future, which would be amazing, but we're going to go through these five today. And you can see that the first four are available for Canva free users. The only one that you'll need Canva Pro for is this one that says create a video clip, which we'll get to in just a bit. You can tell that this is a Canva Pro feature because it has that little crown symbol. So if you don't have Canva Pro yet and you think you'd like to try this out, I do have a free trial for Canva Pro to access Canva Pro free for 30 days to see if it would be a good fit for you. But for now, we're going to start with this first one that says design for me. When I click on this, then I have options that pop up here from social media to presentation, marketing, cards and invitations, or a logo. Of course, if what I'm wanting to create doesn't fit into any of these, I can just type in a prompt here describing what I want it to design for me. But let's say I want a social media post and then I can choose the format. I'm gonna choose Instagram post. So I wanted to generate an Instagram post graphic for me. And then I'm gonna type in the prompt that tells it exactly what I want in the post. So let's say I'm a business that sells pet products. I could say something like a cute quote graphic using a fun dog photo with text that explains why life is better with a dog. Then I'm going to click this little submit button and it's going to think for a minute and then generate some options for this post. Okay, so these are the four different variations it gave me. I can click through to look at these and I can even click on the one I like to open it up larger and make some quick edits right here within Canva AI. So let's say I like this overall, but maybe I want a different picture here. I can click on that. It automatically is going to suggest different dog photos that I could switch this out for with one click or I can even upload my own if I want to add that here. I can of course, change what this says, change the text, change out the colors, and continue editing this until I'm happy with what it looks like. So I can make those quick changes right here, but if I'm wanting to edit this even further, I can click where it says use in the Canva editor, and that'll take me into the full editor where I'll have access to all of my normal editing tools here. Now coming back to the main design for me option, if I didn't want social media, let's say I wanna generate something like a slide deck presentation. I can click on presentation, and then again, give it the prompt. 
So maybe I wanna create a presentation about steps to take to plant a vegetable garden. So here it's given me a few different options. If I click on it, I can see that it's already generated all of these different slides for me about steps to plant the garden, like choose your location, prepare the soil, select your seeds, plant and water, key takeaways for your vegetable garden. So in just a few seconds, this generated this whole slide deck presentation that I could use as is, or again, click in here to make some quick edits until it's exactly what I want. Of course, we can use design for me, like I mentioned before, for marketing materials, things like business cards, flyers, infographics, posters. We can create cards and invitations, and we can even create a business logo. So let's say I wanna create a logo for a business called Floral South. I'll put that in the prompt box, and I'm gonna tell it I want it to include floral elements. All right, so here is what it gave me, some different options using the name Floral South with the floral elements included. Now let's say this is along the lines of what I want, but I want to refine this by giving it another prompt. I can continue by saying something like, these are great, but use vibrant, bright colors of the rainbow. So let's see if it can take this prompt and give me similar designs in different colors. So these are the new options. It definitely took my prompt, gave me more vibrant colors and even changed up the designs a little bit. So I like these new ones that it gave me. Now it does give me some ideas. If I want to continue refining, I can just click more logo designs, which will have it just generate more according to that same prompt. Or I could choose something like add a butterfly illustration or use neon rainbow colors or continue giving it prompts to refine it even further. So that's all within this first design for me option. Now let's move over to create an image. So this create an image is actually serving as Canva's text to image generator. So those who maybe used Canva Canva before this Canva AI came out, this would be something similar to what used to be Dream Lab. But this is where we can give it a prompt to create pretty much any type of image we're looking for. One really cool thing that you can do with this is click this little plus button that says add media and you can choose a photo to upload as your source image. So let's say I like the look of this little cartoon sandcastle. I'm gonna click to use this image as my source media. And then I can come down and choose the style, the aspect ratio, and then here where it says match the design, I can choose which one I want to prioritize. Match the style, which is going to prioritize the colors and the feel of this source image in the new image, or match the design, which is prioritizing the arrangement and the layout. So here I'm gonna choose match the style because I want it to mimic the colors and the feel of this image. And then under this section, I can choose subtle, balanced, or strong. So this is telling Canva AI how closely I want it to stick to the style of this original image. Subtle is gonna give it more freedom to be a little more loose with how close it's sticking and make more changes. Balance is a little bit in the middle and strong is going to cause it to stay super close to that original image with just some slight changes. I'm going to stay with balance for now and give it the prompt of what I want it to generate. So I might say a happy crab on the beach and click submit. So here are the four images that it generated of the happy crab on the beach. So this is definitely very close to that original sandcastle image style that I uploaded as the source image. So adding that source media is really helpful when you have a specific image in mind that you want it to be in the same style of. But if you didn't have that, you could also just generate it just using your text prompt. So I'm going to try the same prompt, a happy crab on the beach. And here I'm just going to choose the style. Lots of different options here, but I think the one that most closely fits what I'm looking for is probably this sketch color option. And then I can choose the aspect ratio. So let's say I want a square aspect ratio. I can choose that and click submit. And here it's given me four new images of the happy crab on the beach in the sketch style. You can see how those are a little bit different than the style that it pulled from my original source image. So you can play around with these, changing out the style to see what best generates the vision that you have. And when you find one you're happy with, you can click to download it as it is, or even click edit, which will pull it into your main Canva editor where you can continue working with it from here. So that's the create an image option. Now let's move on to draft a doc. So this is going to use AI to draft a document for us. And there are a lot of different types of documents. So if we click on type, it's got everything from blog post to summary, outline, social post. You can see all the different options here for different types of documents. So let's say for this one, we want it to generate a blog post. We can choose that and then give it the prompt for what type of blog post we want. So I might say a blog article about how to stay productive while working from home, include an introduction, five tips with explanations and a short conclusion. We'll click submit. Okay, so here it's generated the exact information I asked for. It's given us our introduction and then our five points, each with an explanation and a short conclusion. So of course, if I need something of this changed, I can continue refining by giving it another prompt. I could say something like expand more on each main point. 
So you can see now as it's generating the new information, each of these main points is definitely more robust given us a little more information for each one. So I would continue working back and forth, refining as I see fit. And then I could even say something like, use this information and format it into a modern looking graphic design. And this is what I came up with. I can click on this to see it larger. So it's given me work from home, productivity tips, stay focused and motivated at home. And then it's given me the five different tips with the explanations here. So this is a pretty good starting point. And then I can click to use this in the Canva editor to bring it into my editor. If I want to change out something like maybe this background photo, rearrange some of the wording or change out fonts and colors, I can do all of that inside the editor. Now let's try out another one of these types. I'm going to click on itinerary and see if it can generate a two-day itinerary for a trip to Nashville starting at 7 a.m. and ending at 10 p.m. each day. Okay, so it's given me my day one and day two. I can see day one is exploring downtown and Music Row, and it's given me very specific plans. So for instance, from 7 to 8 a.m., we're eating breakfast at Biscuit Love. From 8.30 to 10 a.m., we're touring the Country Music Hall of Fame. Then we're walking along Broadway. So it's given me all of the different specific places to go. We've got day two, arts, culture, and local flavor. So this has generated a very detailed, and accurate itinerary for our Nashville trip. So lots of fun things I can do with drafting a doc here. Now the next one over is the one that I've been most impressed with and this is the code for me option. This uses Canvas AI to create actual coding for us so you don't have to know how to code but you can create something that's interactive for your website or for your landing page. Maybe a tool that you're thinking of but you don't know how to build because it involves coding. You can do that now super easily with this option code for me. So like I mentioned this is mainly for building out interactive tools and activities. So for example, it has options here to generate a grocery list builder, an interactive certificate, or a biology quiz. You can even get more fun ideas if you scroll down here. Things like an interactive historical timeline, a menu for my restaurant, a flashcard game. So if you need ideas, it's fun to come down here and just sort of experiment with these suggestions. But for now, I'm gonna type in a prompt that I thought of, which is to create an interactive daily habit tracker where users can check off habits like drink water, exercise, and journal and see their weekly progress. So now you can actually see it in real time generating the actual code itself. It does take a few moments depending on how robust the code is that it needs to generate for what you've asked it to do. And once it's finished, it'll present to you what it actually looks like visually. So it created my daily habit tracker. It's got each day of the week and then areas where the user can select if they drink water, if they exercise, if they journaled. It also added in reading and meditating. It has a today's habits checklist and an area where they can see their weekly completion, their current streak, and habits completed. So I think this is actually a great start, but I could continue refining this by adding more prompts. So maybe I want to add in a few more sections. I could say add in additional rows, one each for outside time, and tidy up. Change colors to purple and pink. Okay, so now it's showing version two with those changes made. You can see how it changed the background and text colors to purple, and then the little check marks are now purple and pink, and it added my outside time time and tidy up rows. So I would continue working with this until it's exactly what I want it to be. And then I got two options for how to actually use this. So the first one is where it says show code. If I toggle this switch on, it shows the actual code, which I can then just click copy code. And then I could paste this into an external custom code block or widget in my hosting software. So if I'm wanting to put this into my landing page or website using a host like Wix or Squarespace or Shopify, I could do that. Or let's say I'm selling an online course and this is a tool that I want my my students to be able to use. I can paste this custom code into my course, whether it be on a platform like Teachery or Teachable or Kajabi. So that's how I would use it externally, but I can also use it internally in a website that's native to Canva. So if I click use this in a design, it gives me four options here, one for website. That's where I can click to actually see what this web page would look like. I can click preview. This is going to be a Canva website that I'll have the URL that I can share to anyone I want to be able to use this just by clicking publish website. 
but I could also use this in a presentation, a document, or a whiteboard. All of these are options that are within Canva itself. So that's the code for me section. And the last one here says create a video clip. And like I mentioned, this one is for pro users only, so you won't be able to do this unless you have Canva Pro. Again, try it out totally for free with that free trial link in the description box below. But when you click on this, you'll have options again for style. So you can choose things like cinematic, photorealistic, animated, cartoon. You can choose your aspect ratio, the duration, which right now is only eight seconds, but it says that a custom duration is coming soon. You can choose the framing that you want from a wide shot, medium shot, close up, over the shoulder, POV, and top down. And you can choose lighting. So soft lighting, hard lighting, dark, golden hour, or cool nightlight. So you can generate photos to use for a lot of different things. For this one, I had the idea to generate something that I could use as sort of a background video that I could layer something for my business on top of. So mock-up photos or customer reviews. So the prompt I'm gonna give it is gonna say, a laptop with a cup of steaming coffee on the screen in a modern workspace with neutral tones. For this one, I'm gonna choose cinematic. I want it to be a medium shot and soft lighting. So let's see what it can come up with for this. Okay, so here's the video it came up with. You can see the laptop with the steaming cup of coffee on the screen and this would serve as a great background video for like I said, a sales promotion or any kind of business related content. I can also use this feature to create videos to use as B-roll videos for long form content, a scene for a documentary, or even something like an animated scene for a kid's short. So many different fun things you can do with this. And of course, if I wanted to continue, like I mentioned, layering things on top of this, I could click use in the Canva editor, which is where I can then bring in things like shapes, elements, text, to make this exactly what I want. So definitely hop over to Canva, give Canva AI a try. And if you don't have Canva Pro yet, click that link in the description box below to try it out for free for 30 days. And also grab the link down there to hop over and watch my digital product powerhouse masterclass completely for free to start growing your profitable digital products business today. Happy creating. Hey.